Seven is Adrian Mayer. Seven, Mark Jules. Eight, Gary Hemsworth. Nine, Tommy Mooney. Ten is Andrew Fletcher. And number 11 is Simon Thompson. Number two substitutes for Borough. And number 12, John Asjan. And number 14, Darren Foreman. So that's referees, Mr. Terry Holbrook from Walsall, Burnley's opponents on Saturday. And the two linesmen are Mr. J.S. Cortland with the red trim flag and Mr. P.R. Richards with the yellow trim flag. It's going to Burnley to kick off. Straight back to John Deere, the man of the match on Saturday. As Burnley drew two apiece with Walsall down at the Bescott Stadium after being two goals to nil down with less than 20 minutes to go. Nice comeback by the Clarets. Steve Harper recalled to the side, who was substitute on Saturday to make way for Adrian Randall. No danger of a hard pitch today. It's been raining solidly now for two days. Scarborough haven't had a, a league fixture since January the 4th, so they're out to be a bit match rusty. This burn have been kept busy. The weather not really having any adverse effects. It's Deary. To Harper, chance to run. Wide now with Roger Eli. He's got Mike Conroy if he needs him. Eli to Andy Farrell. Farrell wide with George Jacob, left back. And John Francis. John Francis challenged from behind by Mark Ash, who was sent off as Burnley played Scarborough away. Which was like Burnley's last defeat before the nine match winning streak, which was way back on September the 28th. Conroy's pass, it's too high for John Francis. It's going to be thrown to Scarborough to take by Mark Ash. It's back again with Ash. Looks it forward looking for Tommy Mooney. John Pender, quite content to knock it into the to the stand. He's looking for Mark Jules in the area, no problem there for a Burnley's right back here, Meesham and Steve Harpenay for the Clarets. Good ball to Conroy. Conroy heads it on. Roger realised got the ball, but he miscontrolled. And it's time now. Steve Harpenay for Conroy. Will he get there? Inside now. Steve Harpenay back to Meesham. Meesham down the line looking for Conroy. He moved out to position though, but it's good play by the centre half, Paul Mudd. And in the end, it ends up with the ball in the arms of the former Wigan keeper, Phil Hughes. Play by Andy Farrell. Miscontrol again by Roger Eli. <laughs> Burnley again, top, uh, still top spot rather. Two points clear at the top of the fourth division. Scarborough, after a, initially a poor start, started to come good now. Still 19 points behind the Clarets, so at this stage in the season. But we'll no doubt be looking for a playoff spot. I'm beating the last six away, six games, four of them away from home. So it's certainly a side on form. And more than match Burnley in the postponed fixture last week. But the game being called off in 90, after 90 minutes because the pitch was uh, frostbound. Logan knocks into the penalty area. John Francis now a chance. Good play by him, he's burning the throw in. It's Francis over the top now, there's two Burnley players there, it's Eli. Conroy's moving to the penalty area now. He's gone past everybody and away for a goal kick. A good break that by Burnley. The ball over the top. So both Roger Eli and Mike Conroy in an onside position. Eli sent the cross over, there's nobody there to receive it. And it's a goal kick to Scarborough. Yeah. 
Huge kick. Pretty low. Steve Harper got some time now. Tried to take on David Logan with a fine tackle. By the scarber number three. Misha to Farrell. Farrell hooks it forward. Conroy heads it on. There's two yellow shirts up there and it's the first corner of the game and he goes to Burnley. To be taken by George Jacob on the right wing. Swing this one in left footed. It's deep. Lucky for Davis. Davis managed to get a touch. Only succeeds in giving Scarborough the goal kick. Burnley have two successive home league games coming up. A chance to extend their lead at the top. Entertain Lincoln City here at Turf Moor on Saturday the 8th of February. And then on the Tuesday. It's Northampton's turn. Chance to do the double over both clubs. Burnley having scored away victories. 3-0 over Lincoln in October. And a 2-1 victory at Northampton in December. John Francis being to the ball. John Pender looking for Eli. Eli gets the flick on. Mark Ash had a fine game here at Turf Moor last week. Burnley win a throw in. From the wrong side. I say it's a cold night here at Turf Moor. Blustery wind and rain. Certainly a contrast to last week. It's a cold rain out for Burnley. And with Burnley another corner this time on the opposite side. Retained by John Deere. We'll swing it in right footed. John Pender and Steve Davis both joining the fray now. The two big centre halves for Burnley. Both scored a couple of goals from corners. Got one each against Mansfield. Poor corner though. And Steve Harper retreating. Tried to flick it back in but missed mis kicked it rather and it's way over the top. This game really could do with an early goal, hopefully for the Clarets. The ball beating Jekyll, but he gets it back to Pender. Pender, looking for John Francis down that far corner. Will he get there? The answer to that is no. It's a throw into Scarborough. To be taken by Ash. Eli, he's got a long throw. Quite sure what the referee's blown his whistle for there. Did not. Whatever it was, he's ordering the, kick, the throw rather to be retaken. Chance of a shot now for John Deere, but he stubs his foot rather. And no trouble for Phil Hughes. Quite content to let it roll past the right hand post and away for yet another goal kick. So the 10 minutes gone here, still 0 0. Good over there by John Pender. John Deere looking for Eli. Turned away though by Chris Lee. Good header by John Francis. 
got Eli holding the ball up, trying to get through his men, does well. And Burley win the throw, and good play by Eli. It's Joe Francis now against Mark Ash. Good challenge though by Ash. And it's another throw into Burnley. Same position. Good work by Francis and Eli there, and Burnley. The throw in. It's going to be Roger Eli to take. This throw and probably hoist it into the penalty area. He's looking for John Pender with the ball. Pender gets ahead to it. And it's helped on its way. Steve Davis tries to head it on. There's nobody there. And it's just whacked forward by Tommy Moon. And looking for Mark Jules. Rather hopeful. Logan to Ash good header there by Joe Jacob and John Deere now John Francis inside to Roger Eli it's Farrell oh much too hard there for Andy Farrell poor play there by number six this competition of course I mean, proved so lucrative to Burnley three years ago when they got all the way to Wembley and played in front of just under 81,000 people. The manager Jimmy Mullen obviously be looking to take the uh, auto route to Wembley. The trophy having been renamed from as it was when Burnley played the Sherpa Van Trophy to now the Autoglass Trophy. It's Steve Harper now for Burnley. Chests it down. Tries to find Misha, but misses him. And it's Logan, hooks it forward. Lucky for Fletcher. Fletcher backing into Steve Davis. That's lucky for that's a good ball, good running there from Mike Conroy. Gets it across. John Deere. Well, the poor player and the attack breaks down. Misham gives the ball away unnecessarily there. And Joe Jacobs caught out of position. John Pender. Steve Harper's pass was looking for Francis, but it found Joe Jacob instead, and he sends a good ball down the line, looking for Roger Eli. Fine ball by Jacob. And you see Eli it is. Challenged by Ash. So has to turn his side. Good play by Eli. Conroy! There's a chance now. The ball's running loose in the penalty area. You can find the decisive touch, could Burnley. Attempt to cross there by Steve Harper, striking David Logan in the pit of his stomach. <laughs> now it's John Pender inside to Joe Jacob. Jacob got some space. Offside against Mike Conroy. First offside decision of the game. there though for Scarborough there's only John Pendy he had a free header <laughs> well a mistake there by Steve Davis and John Pender forced to knock it back to Chris Pierce <laughs> a 
flick on by Conroy. Eli back to Conroy. Conroy wide to Steve Harper. It's a good move this by Burnley. It's knocked in, deflected against David Logan, straight into the arms of Phil Hughes. A poor throw by him though. Interception was by Joe Jacob and it's a throw into Scarborough. Throw to Scarborough. John Deere to Farrell. Steve Davis taking his man on. Good play from him to Conroy. To John Deere. It's a good move this for Burley. Miscontrol well by Mark Conroy. Ends it. And it's Mark Jules. Takes on Conroy, beats him. <laughs> Amy Shim eventually bringing down Mark Jules in mid flight. And it's a free kick to Scarborough. 25 yards out. Good running that by Mark Jules. Took on Mike Conroy and tried to outpace Ian Meacham. It's going to be Adrian May to take the free kick. Scored one of the goals. Scarborough's 3-1 victory over Burnley. It's knocked in. It's dangerous this for Burnley. In the end, it's safely in the arms of Chris Pierce. Good flick on by Mark Conroy. Roger Eli is through. It was shot. And Phil Hughes diving away to his left. Had no trouble in holding the ball. No real power on the effort there by Roger Eli. But a good flick on by Mike Conroy. Logan, looking for Tommy Mooney. It's offside against Tommy Mooney. Gary Emsworth attempting to put him through. Farrell, too far though, was too hard there by the Burnley number six. It's back again with Phil Hughes. Still raining here at Turf Moor. forward, Jules is in there, a good header though by Emisham and it needed to be Scarborough on the attack now with Fletcher shot deflected against Andy Farrell it's Logan now for Scarborough, cuts inside a right footed shot stopped by Emisham Elias was flagging for offside, I think it was Fletcher again it was caught John Deere. The play by him. George Acker with the first time cross. Too, too close to keeper Phil Hughes though. It's he who has it. Poor kick. Intercepted by Jacob. Only as far as mud. by Pierce, looking for Conroy, Conroy flicks it on again, as does Andy Farrell, <laughs> it's 
tee up nicely by the two Burnley centre halves. Attempted clearance there by Mark Ash, can he regain Burnley's John Francis? person to have the most touches of the ball so far is definitely uh, the keeper for Scarborough, Phil Hughes. Ash. <laughs> Missed kick by John Pender, straight into the crowd. Steve Davis away. It's Roger Eli now. Chance for the break for Burnley. To Francis. Back to Eli. Much too far though. And it's no problem for Adrian Mayer. Challenged by Ian Mission. Logan. Looking for jewels. Good turn by the captain, John Pender. Conroy not really watching the ball there. It's Eli. Holds it up well. Francis turns inside his man, tries to feed. Either John Deary or Steve Harper through, but the ball rolls away from the two of them, and it's another goal kick. Another good move there by Burnley. Good build up. But the final pass is going astray at the moment for the Clarets. Chester down well ball by Steve Davis. there by Andrew Fletcher and David Logan back to Phil Hughes. Wide now with Mark Jules. Jules taking on Misha. The challenge there by the Burnley right back. It's oh, a lovely turn by Jules, but the ball runs out of play. Most unlucky. Referee originally this say free kick, but he's allowing the throwing to continue. Conway flicks it on, there's nobody there though. Good work by Jacob, no one there though, he's going to run out for the throwing. David Logan with a throw in, nobody to pass to them all in. Pender hooks it forward. Steve Davis now for Burnley.
pace. Good kick. Conway, good flick on. Steve Ark is there for Burnley, being challenged by Logan. And Logan wins the ball and it's a throw into Burnley. He should be inside to Harper. And good play by Jules, swings up. Here's yeah, his opposite number. Francis wins the ball, it's back to Jacob. Jacob drills it forward. Too much drill in it though. Again with Hughes. Offside there. The referee allowing play to continue. to Scarborough. Well in there by John Francis. Adrian Mayer knocks it forward, looking for Fletcher. Good header though by Joe Jacob. Half an hour gone, still no score. No real goal mic opportunities. At either end. Long throw from Roger Eli. Francis looking for the flick on. Logan now. Scarborough get the advantage. Chester down well by him. Whoa, and a missed kick though, and it's Straight to Simon Thompson, he knocks it wide to Andrew Fletcher. Fletcher now cuts inside George Eckham. And a left footed cross, which Misha did well to head clear. Oh, lovely turn. Well played, George Eckham. Rather a poor ball, though, to finish off. A good crossover, flicked on though by Steve Davis. And a shot. cleared eventually as far as Chris Lee it's, uh, picks out Tommy Mooney he's robbed though by John Deere and it's wide Stephen Harper slips it round David Logan good play from Steve Harper cuts inside looking for someone to pass through the cross was looking for John Francis he's still there the ball John Francis shot charged down by Chris Lee Good play by Thompson, but it's a throw to Burnley. Fine play there by Steve Harper. <laughs> Eli beats the ball. Farrell wins it though. Francis to Jacob. Jacob, poor ball. And Logan knocks it back to Phil Hughes. Text on Steve Davis, cuts into the penalty area. Yeah. 
Logan. Good ball by Harper to Conley. And John Deere now running through. Looks it wide to Francis. Francis has shot, tipped over spectacularly by Phil Hughes. The build that was good play by John Deere. Squared it to Francis who cut inside and his shot was tipped over the top by Phil Hughes. First real excitement of the game as far as goal might incidents go. It goes Burnley's way and it's the third corner of the game. John Deere. Swings it in. The bodies go up. And it's another corner. <coughs> this time, it's taken on the right by Joe Jacob. Poor corner only as far as Logan, and it's going to be a throw into Burnley. David Logan's header going into touch. Stephen Harper. And a goal kick well shepherded there by Gary Imsworth. Taken by Logan inside to Fletcher. Fletcher trying to find Thompson. Play well by Joe Jacob. John Pender gives the ball away. Pender back to Jacob. Jacob over the top, nobody there. by Conroy and Eli wide now with Steve Harper <laughs> Steve Harper wins Burnley the floor team mission will take Challenge on by Steve Davis on Andrew Fletcher. Retriever to Andrew Fletcher. Now we're able to run back into position. Here's what they do with the magic sponge. It's only as far as Chris Pierce.
John Deere in there well. knocks it on looking for Eli the chance made for the shot by Farrell deflected and John Francis a fine save by Phil Hughes diving at the feet of John Francis but it's got John Deere and the header was by Roger Eli and off the line clearance so Burnley really piling on the pressure now Steve Harper changed wings and it's a throw into Burnley and the keeper's gone down quite sure what for or well, who made the challenge so to continue is Phil Hughes Harper good turn poor cross though try to drill it low it's Hemsworth chip forward for Jules Jules leaves it for Fletcher Fletcher wide now with Logan. Offside, not quite sure who against. Must have been against Mark Jules. Good head by John Deere, picks out Harper. Harper to Deere, Deere back to Jacob. Jacob again, Steve Harper. A low cross. Farrell back to Harper. Cross by Jacob, Eli in there. And Burnley win the throw in. Good cross by John Deary. Conroy's up there. A good play by David Logan. Yeah, lovely play there by the Scarborough number three. And a good ball by John Deary. Finds Steve Harper on the edge of the area. Turns inside and shoots just over the top there from Steve Harper. And good effort. The ball that found him was played superbly by John Deere, having a good game at the heart of Burnley's midfield. Picked out Harper, he turned his man, brought it into the penalty area, and rifled a shot just over the top of the crossbar. Score still 0 0. As we approach half time, the header was by Pender. Eli gets it, back to Harper. Harper beat to the ball. A Thompson, Thompson inside to Fletcher, Fletcher still on the ball, Ash loops it forward, John Deere running at the defence, was he brought down, the referee says he was and it's a free kick to Burnley. George Jacob. Deere. Good ball wide to Steve Harper. If he keeps it in, he does. Challenges Ash. Scarborough on the break. It's two against one from Newton. It's Mark Jules. Holds things up, though, does Jules. Good play from Jules, takes it into the penalty area, chance 
Good save from Chris Pearce, and it needed to be. Diving down, smothers the ball. Well, lovely work there by the winger, Jules. The poor kick by Pearce. Comrade just keeps it in play, does he? Yes. Francis finds Eli. Eli completely miss kicks the ball. But does well to recover. Turns inside Paul Mood. Roger Eli must take a lot of credit there. His embarrassment. He totally miss kicked the ball. Knocked into the penalty area and it's going to be a corner to Burnley. The header was by Tommy Mooney, the centre forward for Scarborough. It's yet another corner to Burnley. George Ecker to take it. Into the time that referees added on. At the end of the half, two lengthy injuries though. The header was by John Pender. And it's up. Poor kick though by Hughes, as long as far as... Harper, Harper, been to the ball well well by Thompson. Thompson, nowhere to go, the route to his keeper's covered. Is that on ball, the referee keeps his hands by his side. Fletcher to Thompson. Tommy Mooney, challenged well by Steve Davis. Francis recovers well. The flick on was by Eli, but there's nobody there. Offside. Flick-on was by Conroy, and a good directed header there by Eli, almost picked out Andy Farrell. A good challenge by Andy Farrell, regains the ball, and it's Eli now. Eli finds Francis. Francis, the crossover, too near the keeper, though, by John Francis. Free header for Tommy Mooney. Shouldn't we get in those? It's back to Chris Pierce. <laughs> A good chance now for Scarborough. It's Thompson. He's into the penalty area. It's there, 1-0 Scarborough. But the linesman disagrees. And it's an offside decision now against the goal scorer. Or well, the third goal scorer there, Tommy Mooney. And a fine break by Scarborough. Simon Thompson in particular took it into the penalty area, drilled it across the face of the goal. But Tommy Mooney has strayed into an offside position just before he rifled the ball past Chris Pierce into the top corner. And also looking at Scarborough, but the score remains at 0 0. Burnley can be thankful where the linesman was alert and half time. Scarborough to restart the half. The score still nil nil. Good header by Misham and Francis now. A chance for Burnley. Francis away on the right. There's Eli, Conroy, and Harper in the centre. It's deep, too deep, too near the keeper.
Jules now for Scarborough, looking for Tommy Mooney. Free kick conceded by Steve Davis. On Mark Jules. Takes the ball over to where by Misham. Eli tries to take on Paul Mudd but knocks the ball out of play. Loose now to Harper. Harper tries to knock it into the penalty area. He's got it again now. Can't get the ball over at the moment. Jacob can. There's nobody there though. Logan moves it away. Chance now for Tom for Fletcher rather. He's got a man free if he needs him. Turning Davis inside and out, and his shot gathered well by, well by Chris Pierce. I think the ball to Simon Topson. Chris Pierce, rather poor kick. John Deere, badly controlled, and it's Jules. Good challenge by Mission. Jacob. Fletcher inside to Ash. Ash the right back. Chris Pierce gathers the ball before he could go out for a corner. Good back come Roy. Ash. Conroy. Play by Conroy looking for Harper, but it's hoofed away by Adrian May. Three header there for Mark Ash. Jack have been there well. Davis. I think Burnley have taken it. Certainly started the better the two sides have. The Yorkshire side. Harper, good header. Thompson flicks it forward. Fletcher. Logan. Who forward? Good header there by John Pender. Francis beating to the ball by Chris Lee. Pender forward again. Eli. Good turn by John Francis. Wide by him to Steve Harper. A good cross by Steve Harper. Roger Eli flying in at the back post. Couldn't get a foot on that, and it's away for a goal kick. This time, Steve Harper does manage to get the ball into the penalty area. Good play there by John Francis in the centre of the field. Outside of the foot pass, release Steve Harper down this left hand side. Good by Pender. Stay there by Ash and it's Harper for Burnley. The 
play by Steve Harper. Andy Farrell. Eli chests it down. Let's it bounce. To George Jacob. Why with Steve Harper? With a poor cross up by Jacob, straight into the arms. Eli forward, looking for Conroy, offside though. From Walsall. Maybe a bit of revenge there. And now it's a free kick to Scarborough. He's flicked in plenty of yellow shirts up there. The header was by Andy Farrell. Lob forward. Nobody offside. Early kick by Chris Pierce. But away though from the two Burnley players that were up there. Well recovered by John Francis. Lucky to send Eli through Eli. He ran the wrong way though. Turned away by Adrian Mayer. Inside to Himsworth. Good challenge by Francis. Himsworth with it again though. John Francis concedes a free kick though. Logan. Looking for Mooney. Challenged by Steve Davis. Davis runs out. Plays the ball down the line, out of place as the linesman. Speculative shot there. We disagree, he gives it to Scott. Burley went another throw in. Harper's cross met by Eli. As a chance must go in, and he does. Yes, 1-0. Mike Conroy and the deadlock in his tyres has last been broken. A good crossover by Steve Harper. The flick on was by John Francis. The diving header by Roger Eli was parried by the keeper, which left another diving header for the leading scorer, Mike Conroy. He's 19th of the season and it's Burnley 1, Scarborough 0. Hopefully Burnley can capitalise on this lead. Scarborough, looking to attack from the start. Another control by Steve Harper. Return pass was by Roger Eli, just a bit too far. It's Phil Hughes now with the kick. And reflection on that challenge for that challenge rather on John Pender, the ball having clearly gone. Jacob, for Conroy.
Thompson back to the ball flicks up it's a cover come right looking for Eli the keeper will get there first Jules lets the ball run over his head, takes on John Francis, turns away, back to Logan, played Andy Farrell. There's good communication there in the Burnley defence and Steve Davis piles forward, still going, it's a superb run this by Steve Davis. Excellent run there by the Burnley centre half, beat about Eight players there, super stuff. Caught out of position at the moment, and he's still running for the ball. Conroy gets there ahead of his man. Inside Eli. Lays it across the face of the goal, and John Deere, the ball just too far behind him. Misham. Wide now with Conroy. But John, John Francis may be told to leave the ball there. Thompson. Simon Thompson brought down there in full flight. It's going to be a free kick to Scarborough. There, Chris Pierce comes for it, gathers it well. Flicked on by Conroy. Eli holds it up well, wide now. Steve Harper challenged by Ash. A good cross over the top wall by Steve Harper. Took on Mark Ash well, though. Did the Burnley left winger coming on in the same game last week? Darren Foreman. I don't know. Depth to the Scarborough side, and it's the same two substitutes, so. So strength in the squad. The poor kick roll by Phil Hughes again. And a mistake in the defence. And John Deere. John Deere. Lovely play. John Deere. 2 0. Super play by John Deere. What a fine goal. Received the ball, cut inside, took it into the penalty area, and slipped the ball. Pass Phil Hughes, and that's all for a mistake by the keeper's kick. And Burnley now, two goals in the space of eight minutes. <coughs> and Burnley looking likely to face Rotherham United in the second round. Francis now. Garber City have gone to pieces in the midfield. Wiseman yeah. <laughs> Jules. Scarborough need to go out as quickly as possible. Charles Bandy Farrell. And as far as Logan. It's a flick on, no one there, but Chris Pierce. Pierce throws it out to Steve Harper. Jacob looks it forward, the header was Barnley. Jules inside now, Chris Lee. Looking for Foreman, a good ball. Cover back well well by the Burnley captain John Pender. Burnley really were opened up there by the pass by Chris Lee. Play 
by John Francis. Francis knocks it wide. Steve Davis. Good cross. Thompson against Harper. A mistake though by Thompson. Gives it to Steve Harper. Good back heel on his wide now. Burnley started to flow now. Wide Conroy. His cross towards the back post but gathered safely by Phil Hughes. The final pass is starting to come off now for Burnley. She wasn't in the first half. Run well there by Conroy, but a poor header by Adrian Mayer. Bender. Hook forward. The up and under. Eli flicks it on. There's no one there. As far as Burnley can say. Bender gets to the ball, the right back. The player, Joe Jacob. Eli sold him short there, sold John Deary short. And it's Foreman inside to Mooney. Mooney had the ball taken from his feet by Andy, by Ian Misham rather. And it's Misham now who gets the ball via a crispiest throw. Poor ball all by him. It's John Deary, score of the second goal. Good ball. A superb game today as John Deary. Was man of the match on Saturday at Walsall. Oh, lovely play. The two Burnley players got in each other's way there. Conroy and, De and Jacob, rather. Another substitution for Scarborough coming off is number 11 Simon Thompson to be replaced by number 12 John Ashton. Scarborough bench coming on number 12 John Ashton. Conroy inside. Harper had already started his run. Deere. side against like, for the referees like him rather Ash flicks it forward yeah, good header strong header again Harper gives the ball away and it's looking for Jules offside though against Mark Jules through the middle it's going to be looking for someone can't see which player it is at the moment it's number four Chris Lee there's a yellow card Jacker flicks it forward. Mud. The ball ricochets against D-line. It's a throw into Scarborough. Set to well by Jacob. Deere to Eli. He lays it off, the shot coming in by Farrell, and it's a good and he a crossbar, and Conroy, the ball, caught everybody by surprise, a fine effort by Andy Farrell. Strikes, the crossbar comes out, caught, caught the incoming Conroy by surprise, and hits him and bounces over the top. Good header, brave header there by John Francis. It's a free header this time for Ashjan. Ashjan. Takes it into the penalty area, almost. Jules lands up a shot. Oh, 
Oh, what a fine goal. Superb goal by Mark Jules. Left unmarked to the edge of the penalty area and hit the ball with the outside of his foot. Chris Pierce never even saw it. <laughs> so Burnley going to have to defend for the last 12 minutes. Scarborough, number seven, Mark Jules. So, the goal I said Scarborough were looking for. Well, they found it, so Burnley going to have to be on the toes. Logan. There's a chance now, Chris Pierce a bit hesitant in coming forward. And Darren Foreman, John Ashton rather. Unlucky. Harper content with knocking the ball away. What oh, a good ball, looking for number eight, Himsworth. Why, with the scorer, Jules. This time loses his footage, got the ball still well. Brought down, was he by Meesham? Yes, he was. And it's going to be a free kick. So Scarborough bowing on the pressure, inspired by the amazing goal by Jules. Drilled in there. Frieda for the Adrian Mayer. Francis looking for Eli. Will he get there? Yes, he does. Been challenged by Paul Mudd. Takes it to the bar line. He's got it again, though. Gets the ball over, Farrell lets it go. Is it going in? Steve Harper, when going through the ball, deflected against Ashton, I think. And it's going to be a corner to Burnley. Scarborough certainly looking to hold on there. As Burnley look to restore the two goal advantage. It's a corner to be taken by John Deere, no, George Eckerbrother. Flicked on by Francis, nobody there though for Burnley. And it's a missed kick by the substitute. Conroy, chests it down. Wide now with Deary. Deary turns his man, gets over a low cross which is flicked on by Harper. Farrell takes it in. Pender stubs the ball though. Steve Harper now, a chance for Burnley, must takes it to the penalty area, shot deflected off the boot of Mark Ash and it's over the top and another corner. John Deere to take the corner, Steve Harper's coming close, as have three Scarborough players. Scarborough on the break now with Darren Foreman. Harper. Oh, he's lost the ball as Steve Harper. Danger this for, for Burnley. He's threaded through to Ashton. The chance. Pierce diving saves it. 
but he's still running loose, Harper. Jules has low cross. Francis content to just hook the ball away. And it's back to Phil Hughes. I didn't miss Play Andy Farrell. There's the ball through to Conroy. Conroy inside, just a touch too far ahead of John Deere. Hughes with the early kick. Davis beats a substitute to the ball. Harper wide to Conroy. Francis. Good turn by John Francis. Good ball wide to Steve Harper. Ashton. It's two there. Good play, George Jacob. Francis, why with Steve Harper? Takes it to the penalty area. Lays it across, just misses Andy Farrell. The ball stood there by John Francis and it's rolling about all over the place. And a good ball by Logan. Chris Pearce out to the last five minutes of the game. Conroy flicks the ball on. Miss kicking by Logan. Almost gets burned in the corner, but it's a goal. It's with the goalkeeper Phil Hughes. Jacob, no real choice there. But to knock the ball into touch. Ash with the throw. To Ash Jan. It's a throw into Scarborough. Cash with the throw. Oh, lovely turn by Tommy Moon into the penalty area. He's ricocheted about. <coughs> Claims for a penalty there from Scarborough. the ball down. Conroy chests it. Forward. Back to Conroy. Conroy lays it across. Eli flying in. Still loose. John Francis totally miss kicks it. Play by Amisha. with Conroy across towards the back post held by the keeper and it's Jules poor ball by him though Jacob to Conroy
Wayne's up back to Chris Pitt. Logan, good header by Pender. Francis now running at the defence. Misha cleans up. Joe Francis hobbling from when he went down earlier on. Look it go by Pierce straight into touch. Back to Ash. Scarborough piling everything forward now. Looking for the equaliser. Jacob. Good play to Conroy, to Harper, plays the ball too far behind Roger Ela. Just lucky for Conway, will he get there? Yes, he does. Good cross by him, Eli flicks the ball. Wide right of the post. Oh, the chance now for Scarborough is into the last minute. Ashjan lays it off, Jules shoots, no. this time the ball goes wide in the post. And Burnley were at sixes and sevens again at the back there. Uh, Eli rather tried the back heel. into the area. Must be Eli 3-1. The game's over now. The last minute. The goal kick back. And the ball suddenly finding Mike Conroy. He took the ball to the byline, laid it off. And Roger Eli, the second attempt, made the score 3-1 to Burnley. So Burnley won out, definitely faced Rotherham United. Three, four second half goals in fact in this game as the fans make their way off the, off the terraces content we said that not being too convincing really I've Burnley tonight hope they get back Onto real form, as we've seen him play earlier on for the league game on Saturday, where Lincoln City the visitors to Turf Moor. <laughs> I don't think Burnley really deserve to be 4 1 winners. 
If that's what happens, it's Eli now trying to make just that happen. To Deary. Deary's ball's going nowhere though. It's a shame he's only put a foot wrong all night, it's John Deary. Scarborough looking to reduce the race, it's four against four. Foreman finds Ashton Anderson. No, good, pl good play by George Jacob, gives Burnley the goal kick. Misham down the line, looking for Farrell. Ladies and gentlemen, the attendance in the game is 2956. That's 2956. I'd like to thank you for your support this evening. <coughs> Offside there against Tommy Mitt, tells the referee that time's up. And Full time whistle goes, Burnley. Through to face Rotherham United. The Outer Glass Trophies Man of the Match Award goes to Burnley's number eight, John Deary.